There is always something new to discover that no one has found. There is always someone waking up at the tavern for the first time. Unlike many games, Sea of Thieves doesn't hold your hand, but it always keeps on giving. Therefore, common knowledge in Sea of Thieves is not as common as you think. For example, player catches a skeleton for around 9 seconds. However, you can extend that time endlessly by allowing them into a group so they can exchange it until they are gone. With that, you are resetting the fire timer each time it jumps from one to another, using only one firebomb per wave. And this is one of many, making your skull forts and skeleton waves much easier. Pause it here, sit back, relax and enjoy. And now we're heading at a speed of uh, something per hour and... And it's the burn and it... Shipwrecks do not deal damage to your ship, so even though you hear the damage sound effect, you can quickly go to a complete stop and pretend like you don't care. So you can raise sails or stop, but you can also do it the lazy way, like me. The type of cursed cannonball a skeleton ship uses could be shown on the banner if you are somewhere like the fleet. That's how it used to be, but now it's not the case, as it varies from one another. So how can we know? With recent updates, it's different. Each skeleton ship is not the same. Just look at the flag hanging on the back right of the boat. The icon there is your indicator. If it's of interest, you can go to that one and farm these cursed cannibals to give them to other ships. We know that you can find an estimate of how many ships are on the server by checking the emissary tables. However, there are times that they won't raise an emissary flag, making them not visible on the table. However, there is a way to find out. The Reaper Bounty Chest, not the red and white beams, but the yellow ones. Since this beacon is visible on the map and has a higher value than the normal one, it only spawns when there is a reason to fight over it. This will only appear on the server if it has no less than three ships sailing around. So if you log in and see it, that means there are at least two other ships. Keep in mind that it doesn't always spawn when three ships are present. However, it only spawns when no less than three are on the server. It's a good indicator to get a glimpse of where you loaded in. The storm is an interesting one, even though we often tend to avoid it, at certain times we need it, like getting the white flame by a lightning strike or fishing for stormfish. But before that, it contains much more than meets the eye, and it talks to you and understands what you're doing. Allow me to explain. If you are in the storm, the wheel will be spinning endlessly, and it's hard to keep it straight, requiring constant tuning. Counter to the old days when anchoring in a storm was a thing during parking, this was one of the later additions to the game. As soon as you are near land, the storm lets you go and the wheel stops spinning. However, based on testing, currently it seems like it doesn't work on uncharted islands. But now, let's say you are heading towards the next island and cannot tell your direction since the storm is driving your compass crazy. See, the storm randomly turned compasses, so there are times where one of them will not be spinning. Get yours out simultaneously and look at the ship's compass. This way you know where you're going. One of them at some points will not be spinning. Now back to that stormfish. You are at the storm, not getting struck by lightning, neither finding stormfish. There's a reason for that. The storm tells you that everything is in effect once you hear your ship's bell. The bell sound on your ship indicates that you are within the field where you can acquire stormfish or possibly get struck by lightning. Speaking of lightning, and this one is on the house, if you hit an electric while an electric bolt is around, it will react with a shock. And if you die by that shock, you will get the same white flame you will get from lightning. Ashen Lord, a world event usually a wonder for new players. More of a bullet sponge. I sail alone, how can I solo this fast before someone comes? It takes too long. See, the first step of completing Ashen Lord is not going there. In fact, head to the nearest treasury. There are three around the map. Each of these treasuries has four tridents by the entrance before the actual battle with ocean crawlers. So dive down there, take four tridents and deposit them using the mermaid shell. When recalling the loot, it's the mechanic to teleport items from the shrines back to your ship. Tridents provide amplified damage to all PvE elements like bosses and world events. It took me less than four tridents to complete the Ashen Lord. Just make sure to hit all your shots. It's worth for quick buck. Kraken, also a problem for newer players, even though it's much easier than you think. Keep an eye on these three things. When it slaps your ship, jump so you won't get knocked off. And when it wraps around your ship, you should not hit the wrapped tentacle. It's more of a waste of time. Instead, you hit the open mouth that appears on the sides. It appears once for a sloop and more than that on a brig and even more on a galley. And third, whenever it sounds like it's eating ramen noodles, go to the bottom deck and wait until it's done so you won't get pulled away from your ship where it will prevent you from repairing. Damage indicator. Do you see the red around your screen? This usually happens one hit. It also tells you where you're hit from if you look closely. This spike indicates which side and direction you get attacked from. For example here, it's behind me to the right. And now, straight to my left in this other example. Subscribe if you found this helpful. Happy sailing.